This is Melianthus major honey bush, and it is a shrub, evergreen shrub. Um, it's interesting, it has perennial characteristics, meaning that a lot of the stems are herbaceous, but the base of it is woody. Also, this thing, it spreads by um, underground runners and can get to, it kind of colonizes. The, I've seen a large grouping of this is probably eight to 10 feet across. So um, it does spread by underground runners. It is very drought tolerant once established and um, can grow in full sun, even in hot inland heat. Uh, can also take shade and these uh, silvery uh, green leaves look actually quite nice in part shade or shade. And uh, you see the flower here. It gets this flower between April and June. And um, I don't know, I have mixed feelings about it. We've had these flowers be about three feet long. They're very big and bold. Let me get you a close up view of them. And the leaves are beautiful. They're serrated edges innately compound, beautiful leaf texture, and this is what I love about the plant. Uh, let me finish its kind of its characteristics. It is hardy down to the low teens Fahrenheit and apparently down to below 10 degrees if protect if the roots are protected it will probably die back down to the ground but then um, re-sprout uh, when it gets warm again. So um, what I love about, and it's poisonous by the way, uh, deer and rabbits leave it alone, but the leaves are part of the plant is poisonous. So very important to know. I keep it alive with drip irrigation. Um, I'm in Santa Barbara, California, and we're in our fifth year or so of drought. And uh, water is a big issue here. So this garden that you see around me is um, really trying to incorporate primarily low water plants and of this is one. Also in design, what I love about it is I call it a specimen shrub. So what qualifies as a specimen shrub for me is something that's probably five to seven feet or bigger, uh, but not a tree. And it has enough interest to it or character to it that um, most of the time there's something going on with that plant that gives it an important focal point in the garden design. And so, as you can see here, its texture really pops amongst all these other plants. I've used pinks, lavenders, and cooler colors, and then it has that cool blue-gray um, green text, um, color that kind of goes with these other colors that I've assembled here, but then also its texture is really bold. This plant is going to end up being probably about up to here. Oh, height-wise, they get about, they say 8 to 12 feet. I've never seen one more than 6, maybe 7, and I would say that would be the design height to use. Oftentimes it's a good idea to cut these back to some degree um, after winter and that's probably one of the ways that you can keep them at that six feet high range. That's been my experience with my other one that I had for five years and it's also what I've seen. I've never seen any over six feet tall. The Oh, also interesting characteristic. This smells like peanut butter when you crush the leaves. Very interesting smell. It's just like peanut butter. Um, the flower I'm not finding very fragrant but it supposedly has the same scent. You can see how leaves down at the bottom start to die back. I just cut those off to keep the plant clean looking. And uh, I think that's about it. That is a very interesting shrub if you want a texture play. It has 12 months of interest because it is evergreen. Melianthus major honeybush. Excellent specimen shrub.